Hello everybody! Today I want to cover a rather basic thing which is how to work with SIT files or SIT files. Now um, SIT, the file ending means stuff it. Stuff it is a program developed in the 80s. So I'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see better what's going on. Stuff it is a program created in the 80s to compress and decompress files in order to protect what's on it, to minimize the file size when uh, transferring it. Um, and yeah, it was pretty commonly used back then. Nowadays, when you download old software or old uh, files from Internet archives, such as the Macintosh repository or Macintosh garden, you will most likely download these in this SIT file ending. And in order to get the actual files out of it, you will need a program called Stuff It Expander. This was back then released as a freeware or shareware, so it didn't cost anything. And what it does is it allows you to expand these archives. Nothing more, nothing less. So if I go there to the HD where this test file is um, saved, I will just hit expand. And when I open, the HD again, we have the folder which has been expanded out of this archive. Now the problem mostly with the stuff at Expander, uh, I guess this is version 4 something, I don't know, do I see this here? Not really. It, oh, maybe it's hidden here, it's version 3.5.1. Um, the problem with the Stuff It Expander is that some versions work on some Macintosh systems and others don't. So I actually needed, had to try um, several versions of the Stuff It Expander to actually find one that runs, um, in my case here now, on uh, 755. But I've also tried several versions on System 608 and it's really, it's, it's a pain in the neck to find a version that works. But um, I came across uh, floppy disks of um, Stuff It Deluxe, which was the purchase version of this program. You could theoretically also find it on the internet. And um, what you can do with that is you can just click on the file. And apparently there's not enough memory. So just let me very quickly restart the computer. So the computer has finally rebooted. Now I will show you what I wanted to show you. I will click directly on this SIT file. And what happens is it will open the archive directly and I can work on the files inside the archive without the need of having to get them out first. Now that's not a real benefit, but it's, it's quite handy if you don't want duplicate files on your computer. <coughs> The real benefit of this um, Stuff It Deluxe is firstly that you have a fixed menu, at least under System 7, which is here, they call it the magic menu. Um, as you see, it's version 3.5.2. I will post a link below the video. Um, you can also stuff files, so you can create your own archives. But the real benefit is that it's much wider compatible. So these deluxe versions didn't came out in that many revisions, which means you can use it on multiple system versions and you don't have to try um, many versions of this program in order to, to run it <coughs> on your vintage Mac. So in other words, I will strongly recommend Stuff It Deluxe version 3.5.2 to work on systems 6 and systems 7. Hope that helped. Have a great day. Take care.